Welcome everyone and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we'll be diving into Process. Process is an investing company and conglomerate and they own a lot of Tencent and that's why this stock is so popular nowadays. A lot of people want to buy this because it is trading at a very cheap valuation and it has a big stake in Tencent. So today we will be breaking this down. Is this a good deal or should you just buy Tencent stock? So without further ado, let's get into it. So without further ado, let's let's start. So Process is a company that focuses mainly on consumer internet companies. So it is a conglomerate and they try to invest in a lot of things, but the main thing they focus on is the the internet and consumer services through the internet. So of course Tencent falls into this category with all its apps, all its games, but um, they also have other other positions. We'll go into that later. But everything is focused around the, the customer and especially internet companies. So you should notice when you want to buy this company, you buy an investing company, a conglomerate that focuses on the internet only. So it's for example extremely different than Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway looks at stocks, try to find a difference between what is it worth and what should the stock be worth and then buys into it. So usually these are value companies with a lot of dividends, let's say the borrowing companies, right? And Process does something completely different. They focus on more the modern things, the future, so to speak. So usually what this means is that it might sound very exciting and in some way it is because the returns are way higher at least the possible returns are way higher but that also comes with risk because the companies they invest in they are usually highly valued so that's important if you look at the value of this company you should bear in mind that this is now okay so this is just now and all all the valuations of these companies might be very high and right now we live in a high valuation environment everyone wants to pay a, a lot a lot of money for stocks and so i would bear this in mind if things go south probably these stocks will fall harder than for example the portfolio of berkshire hathaway does but the most important reason why process is so popular is not because of their gains or their strategy it's basically because they were a very early investor in Tencent. And as you can see on the screen, here you can see all the assets that Process has, how much they in cash have, how much they have in cash, and then they, they calculate the net, uh, the net asset value for us, and that comes down to about 131 euros per share, which is about almost double the amount at what it's trading for at this point. Most importantly, almost all the value is 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 10 cents so that that's quite interesting and then they also have some other investments in delivery hero for example i don't know if you guys know this company i do and then there are some other things um, mail.ru trip.com stuff like this but on the whole what you're basically buying is 10 cent so that's definitely quite exciting. They also have some unlisted assets, but on the whole, I would not care too much about these. The most important number is this 164 here. 164 of this 216 is 10 cent. Nonetheless, it is very important to bear in mind that even though a lot of a lot of the the value of process is basically 10 cent, it is not the only thing you buy. So there are more things you buy and you should bear this in mind because if things go south for this investment fund, for this conglomerate, right? Because they, they, they invest in high valuation companies with lots of return, but also lots of potential, I should say, and also lots of risk. So if things go south, Tencent is the thing you want to be focusing on. And that's still very good. Uh, if you if you look at it, like it's still 164 billion US dollars, which is definitely a lot. But nonetheless, it is not as much as the 216 that you're probably focusing on. And I think this is key because Tencent, I already did a full calculation, a full, um, a full analysis on Tencent. So if you haven't seen it, please check it out. But Tencent right now is a, a good buy, in my opinion, right? But all these other companies, I don't know them. I don't know what they are going to do. I don't even know if they are profitable, right? So... It is important to bear in mind, if you want to buy this solely for Tencent, just bear in mind that Tencent is a large chunk of the deal, but it's not the only thing you buy. And so the premium that you that you are counting on, perhaps you think, wow, the net asset value is 130, uh, 131, so 
at least that value should be fa fairly priced, which makes a lot of sense. If you say this, I would say, wow, that, that makes a lot of sense. Nonetheless, if you really break it down what they own, I would be slightly, uh, well, hesitant not, but I would say you, you should bear this in mind, right? Because the premium is perhaps not the, the difference between 131 and 76. Uh, it might be a little bit less because you only have 10 cent. So on the whole, bear this in mind, it might not be as rosy colored as you think it, it looks at this point. And then last but least, I just wanted to give an example because even if you just look at 10 cent, this stock is cheap. You can just buy this and then you, you buy at a price that is less than the entire stake of 10 cent. So it's, it's, it's a very, on paper, it's a very, very good deal. And great investors like Guy Spear already buy, bought into Process, I believe. So Process is definitely wanted by investors. But I would always be a little bit conservative and think about it, what you really want to do. Because if you want to buy this stock, perhaps do some research on the investment fund, right? On the conglomerate. How have they performed? How much did Tencent uh, give give them in returns and how much did the rest give them? Because if you only buy it for Tencent, I would still say, wow, it's still a big chunk of the company, but it's not the only thing they own. And very important, there is something called a conglomerate discount. And that's what I want to teach you about uh, in this little clip. So... On the screen, we see the stock of Sofina. Sofina is a company I invest in. It is a conglomerate investment fund, how you want to see it. Uh, it's an excellent company with excellent management, with excellent strategies, uh, and I, I like it a lot. But nonetheless, this stock over the past 10 years was completely undervalued, completely. Right now, on the on the screen, we look at the past five years, but if, if, if I could expand the graph, you would see in the past 10 years, it was even worse. It was trading at sometimes a 60, 50% discount if you just look at the same value. So the net asset value, the book value, whatever you want to look at it. What, you know, so if you, if you just look at the stock, you would say, wow, this is extremely cheap, right? Because if I buy this stock, so Fina, at let's say uh, half, let's say half times book value, then I would buy basically the stock, but I would get, two times as much equity in the firm, which is, of course, an incredible deal. Nonetheless, there is something like a conglomerate discount that means that the more companies you have, the less people are willing to pay for it. And it's very logical. It makes sense with Process too. If you just want 10 cent, it might be a good play to buy Process, but you still buy a lot of other stuff that you don't really know and you don't really know the company that well. So if you want to buy this, I would suggest really do do research on both, okay? Not only Tencent, but also Process. Who are you giving your money to? What are you really buying into? Because Sofina, look, Sofina eventually, so if we look at the book value, Sofina was cheap for a very, very long time and eventually became reasonably valued, right? Right now, this is not a point that I feel comfortable at buying. I bought earlier when it was around, uh, I think, one times book value or 0 0.9, something like this, a little bit undervalued. But I bought at a, a, a relatively fair price. Right now, right now, I would say it's somewhat well fair or or like expensive, whatever you want to look at it. One of the two, at least. So, nonetheless, I think it's very important to bear in mind that usually conglomerates are cheap, right? So you pay discount for companies like these, and that's just because you buy a bunch of stocks, and usually you only like some part of it and not everything. So. Also, this stock has been has been cheap for like 10 years, right? It had excellent performance. It outperformed the market every single year. Nonetheless, it was extremely undervalued. So this is not due to results or something. This, what you see in the screen, this company has been performing excellently. Nonetheless, people were not willing to pay a reasonable price for the stock. And these are just in inefficiencies in the market. The company is worth more. Nonetheless, people don't want to pay it for it. And this can happen with process too. It is not as straightforward as it looks. Oh, I buy 76. Oh, the net asset value is 131. I should make a big profit within the upcoming years. It doesn't have to be that way. I'm not saying it won't. It is perfectly possible. But it's also perfectly possible that this process will stay cheap for a very long time. Or that, let's say in a crisis, all the other assets fall dramatically and you you only are left with your process stake so to speak so i will be 
slightly careful when buying process. I'm not saying I, right now I don't own it. I'm not saying I will never own it. But I would say do a lot of research before you buy into it. On paper, it's a very, very clear bargain, so to speak, right? Because you, you pay and you get more equity than you pay for it. That's really something to like, especially in a conglomerate or an investment fund. Nonetheless, do the research because if things go south, Tencent won't save you, right? You need to have faith in, in process itself and you need to know that it can stay cheap for a very long time. And so you need to be willing to go with this company for a long time. So treat it as any other investment. Don't just see it as a vehicle to buy Tencent, but really think, wow, what I, what is this company going to do? Now, if you trust the company, if you like their strategy, then feel comfortable to buy it. You buy it at a good price, but do the research first and don't just buy into it because of the numbers. So that was all I had to say. Thank you so much for watching. If you would subscribe, that would really mean a lot to me. And let me know in the comments what you want to see on this channel. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.